In this short video, let's talk about roots of the uh, fact functions and also their multiplicities. So we're working with polynomial functions here for both examples. And we want to list all zeros, we also call them roots, sometimes according to their multiplicities. If there's no, then call it none. Anyway, I will tell you that it's not that hard. I will show you what is going on and you will see, oh, that makes sense and I can do it. For the first example, p of x equals 5x times x minus 16 squared times x minus 3 squared. So I will list all the roots. The roots or zeros coming from setting the polynomial to be 0 and oops, find which x makes the whole polynomial to be 0. That's why they call called zeros or also roots. Roots. That's the same thing. So we know using the um using the property we learn that if we have products and the product give us zero then we need to check each factor of the product for being zero because 5x make can make everything zero if x is zero x minus 16 squared can make everything zero if x is what 16 good job and x minus 3 can make everything zero if x is what three exactly so basically what i'm doing here i'm literally solving three equations 5x equals zero x minus 16 squared equals zero and then x minus 3 squared equals zero and i will have three roots and each will have different multiplicity multiplicity that means uh, how many times it shows up over here based on uh, this exponent 5x equals 0 means x equals 0, right? Because 5 is 5, so only x can make 0 from this product. And the multiplicity, I will call it m. m is what? how many times this 0 shows up. This 0 shows up 1, because the 0 of multiplicity 1, right? Multiplicity is 1. I will even write it down for you. m is multiplicity, just for you to know. That's what I'm calling m. m is multiplicity. For the second case, what makes x minus 16 squared 0? Well, x equals 16. But how many times it can make it? Since it's squared, then multiplicity is 2 in this case. Do you know why? Because actually, x minus 16 squared can be written as x minus 16 times x minus 16. So that's what we mean by multiplicity. How many times these guys multiplied by each other? Well, twice. Then x equals 16 and x equals 16 can make 0 from both cases. That's kind of the explanation might, might help you to remember this. From the third example, x equals 3 will make x minus 3 squared 0. And multiplicity is 2 again. Nice. For the example number 2, we are working with function f, which is a product of 9x squared times x minus 8 squared times x plus 6 squared. And we're repeating the whole process. It's going to be 9x squared equals 0. So again, all of these just zeros, right? Setting, setting them to be 0. x minus 8 squared to be is 0. And x plus 6 squared is 0. At some point you learn how to skip all of those steps and give the answer right away. Let's see what's going on. 9x squared can be 0 when x is 0, but how many times? It's kind of you imagining it's 9 times x times x is 0, right? So multiplicity is how many? 2, exactly. x minus 8 squared is 0. So x equals 8 will give me 0. How many times? 2 times. So multiplicity is 2. And finally, what makes x plus 6 squared 0? Think about it. Well, x plus 6 is 0. x equals minus 6, right? This is how you saw it really fast. So minus 6 will make it 0. Oh, it's not cube, by the way. I can see there's typo. I just noticed it's actually, it's not squared, it's cube. So it will make it 3 times. So in this case, multiplicity is 3. 3. And the root is minus 6. Is there any root that has multiplicity 1? Question mark? None. In, it's in just in case for you to understand. There's no roots here that it has multiplicity 1. 
So it has three roots, but all of them have different multiplicity. 0 and 8 have multiplicity 2. Minus 6 have multiplicity 3. And there is no root multiplicity of 1. So that's, uh, I think, not too bad. What do you think about those problems? Can you do it by yourself? Can you repeat this problem without my help? If you said yes and you tried it and it's true, then you are ready. Just keep uh, practicing and you'll be super fast at this. You don't have to write down all this information. You can just answer the question by looking at the function, checking all the squares and cubes and all the roots. And definitely don't mess up with the signs like x plus 6. Don't forget that the root always is x minus a root. x minus x sub 0. And that's my root or 0. So if it is x plus 6, the root is minus 6. Thank you for watching and see you next time.